Uh, welcome to another Learn to Digitize with Embird video. My name is Sue and I am from OML Embroidery and today we're going to be talking about the new release that Embird did, uh, I think it's the 16th of March and it has quite a few changes in it and one particular addition that I don't know if you guys are aware of. Um, it's called uh, knockdown stitches. So first of all, make sure that you are uh, have the correct version of Embird, and this is how you do it. You go into um, uh, help and you go about, and it's going to tell you. And what you're looking for is Embird 2016 build 10.17. 10.17 is the one that we were talking about. If you don't see that on your computer, you can check for new version and you can uh, update it. It takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. If you're not even on the 2016, I would advise to update it. There's been quite a few changes and especially this new one and it's called Knockdown Stitches. So um, let's talk about just quickly what's new in this version because there's quite a few things. Um, they're not all necessarily applicable to you but we're gonna go over them anyway. So we're gonna navigate over to Embird, and it's at embird.net. And if you don't have Embird, if you're wanting to check it out, you can download the demo. It's fully functional, except for you can't save anything. So what's the point of that? Well, you can try out the platform, you can check everything out, and if you like it, then you can buy it. So what we're gonna do is go to about, and we're gonna go to what's new, and here's how you can keep updated on what's going on. So it's version 2016. So new features, um, Embird is now able to process the new FAF VP4 format. Uh, if you need that format, that's good news, everyone. Um, it will convert an, uh, to and from this format, so good news. Apparently there was a bug in the FCM format. The FCM format, I believe, is for the Brother Scan and Cut if you wanna cut your applique, awesome. Fix bug and iconizer for processing SVG files and .emb files. So SVG files is a vector file which you can send to any cutter. So yay, thank you for fixing the bug. Fix bug and alphabet and font engine plugin causing stacking of objects. I didn't find any of that, but I'm glad they fixed it because I wouldn't want it. So here's our new things right here. New function, insert knockdown stitching. And we're gonna go through that um, and I'll show you where it is and how to use it. Support for Janome cutwork needles one to four and Viking cutwork work needles one to four added to color pop-up menu. I'll show you where that is. That's not applicable to me, but I'll show you guys. So anyways, that's how you do it. So we're gonna talk about these knockdown stitches. So what are knockdown stitches, first of all? Knockdown stitches are stitches that stitch first and they basically knock down the high pile. So if you're doing it on a towel or anything that has a pile on it, some kind of material like that that has a high pile that you wanted it flattened down and say the water soluble um, stabilizer doesn't work well enough, this is what you use knockdown stitches for. So basically it's somewhere in between an underlay and a full stitch and it's supposed to be really easy to do um, and we are an editor to use this this is where the new thing is in editor so i want the knockdown stitching to be around where the black one this is a military scroll that we do for canine police officers and whatnot and it's just a good example because a lot of people have had a hard time getting it to work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click on the black because that's where i want it to do let's do right click and if you look down here here's the new things over to the right special colors set applique material color those ones special colors save cutting file that's really convenient to have it right here in editor you don't have to do the other way save and look through a big list it's right there super handy nice but this is what we're looking for insert knockdown stitches so we're going to click on that and it's going to come up with your parameters which is exactly the same parameters that you get in studio so generally for knockdown stitches we just want plain and you set the angles depending on what you want i don't want any um 
uh, underlay on it because we don't want this to be too thick, right? Um, and we can do density. Let's put it up just a smidge and we're going to see how it works. Let's put it up to maybe six. It could be less dense than that. And pull compensation, it depends on what you're doing. If you add some pull comp, it's going to bring it outside of the black line. Or if you leave it as is, it's just going to place it within the black line so it doesn't show. So you can play with that depending on, depending on what you want. Click OK. And there's your knockdown stitches. Now, Embered automatically puts them first because, of course, they're knockdown stitches. So you want them to stitch first, hold all that pile and nap down, and it'll make these stitches look better. You can, of course, change the color. Um, and I would suggest perhaps matching whatever color you're working on so it doesn't stand out um, because they're not very thick stitches. Um, you may want on this one, you may want to leave the pull the uh, density the same uh, it just depends on what you're working on but because it comes up with all those parameters you can change it however you want and it's a really quick way of doing it if you were doing knockdown stitches in studio you would have to a couple ways redigitize it add fill stitches change the density or you could copy and paste this and go up to transform and change the stitch type um, but I think having it handy uh, is going to work really well. So let's check out the density. Because I changed the density a little bit, it's not making it too thick. It's still very green under where I'm working there. So that's great, I think, yay to Ember. Now, it's hard to make it go. I think Ember needs to do a little bit of improvement on it. But so far, with a nice solid outline satin stitch and a shape it seems to work really well so let's try let's try another one let's delete these right click delete and there's our nice knockdown stitches which I, I'm really gonna find handy so let's uh, open another file it's right on my desktop this is another patch that we do and this one looks a little fancier I'm gonna go ahead and make the hoop a little bigger so you guys aren't looking way up in the corner we can look in the middle so this is the same thing it's got a nice circle so we want to pick this color because this is the outside ring and we're going to right click insert knockdown stitches and our parameters come up again um, you can of course pick whatever suits you for it i i still don't want underlay um, let's leave the density and let's play with the pull comp We'll put it up to maybe two and let's see how that looks and it's going to pull it in now the problem is these lines match so let's make them black so we can see and there we go the knockdown stitches because it's a circle it only did the pull comp this way and that's what pull comp does so let's try that again circles aren't the greatest for pull comp um it only works on one side and i forgot that while i was doing it so the black we want to right click on the black, insert knockdown stitches. Again, we're going to do this. There we go. And I'm going to leave the pull comp and I'm going to leave the density. If you can leave those, leave them because it's set up to work properly. Wait a second. And there you go. Perfectly in. Let's check our density map. It doesn't change the density a whole lot. And I think it looks great. Maybe not that color, but I think it looks absolutely, let's make it a gray and see. I think it looks great. So yay, Embered. Everybody keep their software updated and play around with the knockdown stitches. I think they're going to work absolutely fantastic on towels and different things. And I will be awaiting further updates so it works a little bit better with um, different shapes and whatnot. But for now... This is an awesome addition for a free update. Um, I think it's great. Thank you, Embered. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like the video and check out our website for more in full length tutorials and it's at omldigitizing.com. I will see you guys in the next lesson. Thanks.